Like Oral Roberts, A.A. A. Allen, and other faith healers of the era, William Branham used prayer cards for his stage act. People seeking healing submitted their names, their addresses, their afflictions, and other information to the ushers in the healing revivals, and when the number that was written on their card was called, and they approached the healer that was on the platform, the people were amazed that the healer mysteriously knew their name, address, affliction, and other information. For a brief period of time, and before audiences began to connect their prayer card to what these healers called a gift of discernment, many of these people did not question why they were required to write this information down before approaching the healer that was on the platform. The more popular healers of the era had an advantage that other healers did not, long lines and repeat visitors. In the larger meetings, the meeting ended before many people who submitted a prayer card could be called to the platform. Yet the ushers had collected the cards, and the revival continued for several days, weeks, and sometimes even months. Repeat visitors who had previously submitted a prayer card were sometimes called out from the audience, surprised that the healer knew their name when they did not submit a prayer card for that particular meeting. There is strong evidence that suggests William Branham used cues from the ushers for his alleged gift of discernment. William Branham's son, Billy Paul, collected the prayer cards. And there is video evidence of Billy Paul frequently approaching William Branham during the healing lines. Branham used color association when calling people out of the crowd, mentioning the color of their suit, their dress, their body type, the color of their tie, their hat, the feathers in their hat, and more. Colors that stood out, such as purple, were frequently used as a way to associate the person with the card. There are also instances in the prayer lines where either the people in the line or the matching prayer cards were out of order. In those instances, Branham's discernment was also out of order. When people were out of order in the line, when names were difficult to pronounce, and when the card was difficult to read, Branham appeared to struggle with his quote-unquote gift, resulting in errors in discernment. You can learn this and more on william-branham.org.